Hi, uh, hi Albert, hi everybody. Well, I want to show you my method to detect the carrier to and then tune the system into one of the bands that Hector said the last place about single side band. So, well, my method is to play with the pulse width modulation uh, to make the system jump into the resonance. I will work with this uh, one phase on my transformer and then what? I will play with the pulse width. I have put the, the power supply in limiting the current. So, when I increase the, the pulse width, I will try to make the system, sorry, the intensity of the so okay. This is in the X, Y mode, so you will have the voltage in Y and current in X. So, well, I will increase the port width, okay, but as you see, I increase all the port width and the system increase its input current and enter into saturation mode, so the power supply has to limit the current. So, the next step is to decrease a bit the frequency. Then I will try again with increasing the power width. So here is the resonance effect. Then I will decrease the full width. I will change here. Okay. I will decrease the full width until you will see the AM FM effect. Okay. Here is the AM FM effect. If I go on decreasing the pull width, I enter into a zone that it's only AM effect. But if I go on decreasing, well, uh, in this case, I decrease too much and then the system uh, go out from its ferrosonal effect. So I will increase quickly, then I will show you what happened with the current. Okay, I will increase. You see that the current increases abruptly, but when it enters into ferrosonal effect, the current decreases. Okay, I will increase, uh, decrease, sorry, the pulse width modulation until I arrive the AM FM effect. Here it is. I go on decreasing. This is AM, only AM effect. And a bit more, you have the AM effect, AM FM effect uh, with the minimum value of the PWM. If I go on decreasing, it will jump out from the horizon effect. Okay, so then, here it is. Uh, PWM is in the creating defect. I will put the PWM effect, uh, PWM will <coughs> in the place where uh, the AM only effects are so here. Okay, this could we consider as the carrier. So if I sweep down and sweep up the frequency, I have to find the AM FM effect. Okay, I will sweep down first. Sweeping down. Decrease in the frequency. Here you are, the AM FM effect. 
if I increase, I enter into the carrier zone, and then increasing a bit more. Here you have again the AM FM effect, and if I go on increasing, okay, go on. Here is the cutoff frequency. So now to find again the far resonance, I will have to increase the pull width. I will do it. Okay, I will do it. But because I leave the frequency in a value higher than the point where I can find the far resonance sent to the pull width. I will have to decrease a bit more the frequency. Okay, I will decrease it a bit more, and then I will play with the pull width until I achieve. Okay, here, look at this. I have to decrease a bit more. Increase the frequency and now increase the pulse width here. Well, the system jumps into ferro resonance. I will decrease the PLVM again until I find the AMFM effect. Okay, I'm decreasing the pulse width here with AM. AM FM effect, and then I will leave here the PWM. This value of PWM is the value that is between the higher and lower AM FM effect. Then I will decrease the frequency, okay? Decrease the frequency. Here is the AM FM effect. I will go on decreasing to show you what happened. Okay, decreasing, decreasing more. Then it's only well some AM effect, but it is only ferro resonance without any AM FM effect. I will increase, increase, increase. This is the single side band, the lower single side band, well, one of the bands of the single side band, here, here seems to be the carrier, and then if I go on increasing the frequency, this is the other side of the carrier, the upper side, where I can find the AM FM effect. I go on increasing. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope that this helped you. Thank you. Bye bye.